Beep, 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 beep. Paper Ball TV. Metro Manila, an urban oasis in an otherwise tropical paradise, is blessed with not four, not three, but two seasons. The first being the hot, humid, sticky, dry season, where there's an increase of people sharing that name of the earth in the sun with the name of their city or country edited in between, implying to their social media peers how exaggeratedly hot it is where they are. And the other is the wet season, where every Filipino's dream of having their own backyard pool is taken to exaggerated levels when you get an entire water world. This is the Philippine Tagulan. I am Bogart the Explorer from Dabo City. And these are the five things you watch out for during a Philippine Tagulan. Let's go. Let's stay. Number one. Flood creatures. The floodwaters of Metro Manila are renowned to memers across the globe for its dazzling array of marine life. These waters have more than 2,500 species of flood creatures that only appear and actually thrive in these conditions. Creatures such as the alcohols, the newlyweds, the bathing suits, the uninformed. I should have been informed. The I can't believe it's not crocs. And of course, my personal favorite, the offspring of the Shokoi and the Serena, the Philippine Shoke, more popularly known by its other name, Diesebols. Number two, the bus marines. Now in a world where everyone blames everything but their own bad habits for the flooding, watercraft capable of independent operation underwater is a definite must. Now, while most major superpowers have developed submarines that are both effective and high-tech, the Philippine Bus Marine is definitely the most cost-effective, making it a subclass of its own. For example, the American Ohio class is the quietest and stealthiest sub. Russia's Typhoon class are definitely the biggest ever built, while the Philippine Middle class is pesos from Trinoma to Makati, 1850 pag nan ir. Number three, water sports. What do you get when you combine the world's happiest and most resilient people with the world's most depressing and devastating floodwaters? What else? Water sports. Because nothing says avoiding the problem than playing in the problem. And they play everything, from swimming to scuba diving to basketball to wakeboarding and surfing. Hey, even celebrities are doing it. Move. Get out the way. And even though electricity and water mixing together can cause skin and paralysis, they even do esports. Amazing and dangerous. Mostly amazing but really, really dangerous. Pero, amazing din. Pertak naman, sobrang dangerous. Pero amazing yung kayo siya. Para, grabe po ka dangerous na eh. Buhay nila. Number four, the Philippine Aquaman. The superhero known as Aquaman possesses superhuman abilities such as telepathic communication with sea creatures, incredible swimming prowess, and Caldrogo looks. Permission to come aboard. Powers which his Philippine aquatic counterparts don't exactly have. Yet, even the King of Atlantis himself would bow in utmost respect when he realizes just how much water these guys actually take on during the monsoon season. These heroes of the storm brave floodwaters just to give us all a sense of normalcy in a time of great calamity. In fact, they work so deep underwater that the only difference is, in Atlantis, we'd call them Atlanteans. Here in Metro Manila, we'd call them employees. Oh, pizza's here. Oh. Ba't nga lang? Diba, 30 minutes or it's free? Nasa rules nyo kasi, at ako mas masunurin talaga ako sa rules, na 30 minutes or less. Kaso 32 ka dumating. 
So, meron tayong, kumbaga, sa sinasabi na lang salitang banyaga, two minutes over time. Kaya, ang gagawin natin ngayon ay libre na lang. Sana to, di ba? Ano? Meron naman akong GC sa ano, fitness first. And finally, number five, leptospirosis. And those are the five things that you need to watch out for during a Philippine Tagulat. Stay dry, be safe, and always, always wear rubber boots. Baka masyak ka. Oh! Back for more, I see. Bye. Basta pasabi ko naman sa'yo na hindi talaga kita babayaran. Oh. Oh, titigyan na lang ba tayo?